Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Lokesh and today we are going to learning about Karate Framework, Get Method and Param and Param's methods, how we can able to use it into our Karate Framework. What exactly these two operations it will work. See, Param's means if you are going to get operation or get list operation and it requires for a multiple users or something data we need to fit it. See now after question mark we are providing some page equal one right. This is coming from params. There is a params in the postman that inside the param we are declaring for key value pair. Okay, in the param we can even declare as a key and value pair. It will basically it will take like that. Okay, it's a list of map string values. Okay, then what will happen? This based upon this value, this API it will collect. It will having a single param or multiple params. Means in case if you have another param which is something like, then it will do it and name equal to something x a like this it will take as the some name okay in case if it is having if no means okay if s yes means it some apis it will have you one param and some apis having n number of params okay the based upon the api endpoint and in this video we are going to learn about this particular parent concept how we can able to declare and how to declare for single param and multiple params how we can able to do it okay and this is a simple example one get operation and while you are going to do for this seventh line where you are given provision and you using the url then here you want to use single param means we can able to declare like this param param value key value and value for key this is the format we are going to defining for our param here the param is there key and value and here also key and value for the param this is a header format if you run this one and we need to change here just i'm hitting Now we can able to see it is pass our param is taken and we can able to see here there is a url url question mark page equal to one okay this is a format it will take for single param and how to define a multiple params how to define a multiple param means this is a simple format And we can able to comment this one. Okay, now in the town I'm going to declare here. This is a multiple defining parameters. There is a dollar, sorry, uh, multiplication one and def multi value. And you can able to use this object as a multiple, like anything, your choice, because we can able to provide any name here. I provide a multi p because multiple values purpose equal and curly brace once inside the curly brace you can able to define for page colon the value key value this is basically to be take as a uh, map key value pair type it, is, it will take as a list of a uh, map key value pair type it will take list values like some 
list how many you can in case if you have another one just you can go to here comma and specify here two and in case something the name is present again name equal to not equal to colon single quotation some name and here like this it will take as a multiple parents we can able to declare okay this value we can able to specify once you can provide defining here that value then second is params previous we are used for param and this is params because multiple values to providing for the url and here multi we can able to pass it here parents place after parents you need to provide on space then you need to provide which is the previous step we are declaring the variable that variable we need to use it here then what will happen that it will take as a multiple params into a single place declaring and here we are declaring one place in case if you are using the same one now again if i want the second value we need to declare then last again we need to declare the again another value and two if i want another param we need to declare like this and again i need to use for some name some value like this means it's a duplication duplicate it will come right because param we declare for three times and three different values then again it is like a duplicate creation for the param object then it is not a good practice to do for duplicate creation then if to overcome that we can able to declare for multiple params in a single place that is define a multi uh, variable then we need to provide the value for that a uh, value then that value we need to come up with params place we need to define it that param where multi values then it will read as a single file we can able to it will take or not you can see now now I, I have a single that's why i use it for single only if you declare multiple also it will take it now if you go into top place now again see here the value if it is fair, fair also it is okay then i will provide another param page equal to two. now second param also I passed here you will see in the url in case it is fail also it's okay then i'll show you for uh, that param value whether it is coming for url or not now it is also pass it took a single value page two it is taking this second param Now here you can able to see now there is a page equal one and also name equal location. This is not happening like the filter is not working as expected. That's why because the uh, this particular filter it will work only page equal to one in this condition only after extension any value will come it will not accept it will take as a dummy value and it will execute and it will work for passing condition okay otherwise it will work it the simple format of example for multi param purpose i used for my name okay this is all about for param and params if you like this video please like me again. please subscribe my youtube channel don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you